Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in H2SeO3. So since there's not a negative or a positive sign, we know that this is a neutral compound. And if it's a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers for each of these elements, that's going to add up to zero. So that's really helpful. We know that when hydrogen is bonded to non-metals, that's going to be plus one. So here, each hydrogen is plus one. Se, we don't know what that is, but oxygen is almost always negative two with a few exceptions. Here it's negative two. All this is going to equal zero. So we could probably figure it out just by looking at it, but let's set an equation up. We have plus one for each hydrogen and we have the two hydrogens there. We don't know what the SE is. And then for the oxygen, we have that negative two times the three. All of that, that's going to equal zero. So X, we have two minus six. So X minus four equals zero. That means X is going to equal a positive four. So the SE in H2SEO3, that's positive four. And if you multiply two times one plus four and you add three times negative two, that's all going to equal zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element in H2SEO3. Thanks for watching.